Okay, you saw Zoo in the title, and I'm gonna get it out the way right now. Yes, I use a little Alter Boy for the vocal effect, but there's also a free plugin that does the same thing, and I'll show you which one by the end of this video. First, set the BPM to 126. On a drum rack, find a kick that's both deep and punchy. This is the one I always use. If you know a better one, let me know in the comments below. Clap, where you always put it. And we're making house today, so do the house beat. And it looks like this. It sounds like this. This gets all the ultra Miami EDC kids hyped up, and they'll say things like, you're about to get educated. Educated? My brother in Christ, this is a 4-4 beat. But to be fair, this shit does go off. But let's spice it up even more. Unlike dubstep or future bass where the open hats aren't as important, in house you need that thing to be slapping you in the face. So make four MIDI tracks. Select the MIDI track and load in a sampler by just dragging a sample down into this area. Place the hat in between the kick and the clap, also known as the offbeat. Another one, but different. Another, another one, but also different. Pan one of them a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. A shaker with width. A shaker with width. Shaker with shaker with width. Yeah, that's hard to say. When you're done, you should have four layers. Center hat, left hat, right hat, and a shaker. And everything plays the same thing. Group it, reverb, and voila. Syncopated close hats as a treat. Try and lead these into the open hats. And another open hat with delay, cause uh, screw you, I do what I want. Altogether, this sounds like this. Instead of a chord progression, we keep it moody. We do this by having our bass line play only two notes. Uh, okay, maybe a little more than two, but more on that later. Chop it up into a rhythm like this. If you're having trouble figuring out the bass line, try to write your notes around the kick and snare. Notice how they're not on top of the drums. For this sound, use my bass preset from my new pack. And by new pack, I mean just download it for free on my Discord. It's called Ash Slappy because it's just a slap house bass. But like every good producer that uses preset does, we tweak it a little. To make the bass fills, you can make this easily by turning on Ableton's scale and just kind of putting notes randomly around different octaves until it sounds cool. Every slap bass player punching the air right now. A rhythmic ambience. Use auto pan for maximum vibe. For this, I used a guitar sample but you can use anything. Anything? Yo, Ash, what if we like, turned a washing machine into like, something. Uh, but this is Zoo or Skrillex style, so something a little less wacky than that, but we'll save that for another time. Copy over the notes onto the sub bass, but simplify the fills, cause that would simply be too much. Copy over these sub notes onto a sample of a guy beatboxing. <gasps> oh my god. Stay with me. It's only for the transient. This helps the bass cut through just a little bit more. And finally, make sure to set up a sidechain to the drums. Here's what it sounds like without. 
whiff. Gotta have that bounce. And all together with the drums, that sounds like... Find or record something catchy, then chop it up as an accent for the drop. This comes from uh, singing about sad things. Stay here for the moment. Or like getting faded. I don't know. Y'all know by now I'm still an emo kid. Not a phase. But to get this zoo sound, I use Little Alter Boy with a downwards formant. Put utility afterwards since Alter Boy adds all kinds of wideness that we don't want. And you can also add this vocal chain that I go over in my Patreon. But we're not talking about paid stuff, no. You want the free stuff. So there's a free plugin called M Auto Pitch that'll also get the job done. And I already gave you the slap bass preset for free, so please, I need to feed my cat. Did you know that once you upload to DistroKid that you can link your Spotify artist account and get some awesome bonuses? <gasps> Even a potato like me knows that. You know, let me slow that down for you. Let's not deep fry this, okay? If you've ever been on Spotify and seen those really cool looping videos by your favorite artist, Guess freaking what, you can do that too. By linking your DistroKid account to your Spotify artist account, that gives you access to add canvases to your music. Through Canvas, you can give your song that visual pop that it needs to stand out. But there's more. You can also get instant verification on your Spotify page. Show everyone that you're a certified fresh music producer. And this is all totally free and included with your DistroKid membership. That means for $20 a year, you get unlimited uploads and keep 100% of the royalties, huh? Such a thing even possible, which is dope. But since you're viewing this potato right now, you get the special discount, 7% off your first year. Just use my VIP link below. So what are you waiting for? Go make your music not only sound great, but look great as well. <gasps> Sign up for DistroKid and use my VIP link to do it. I'll wait. Go ahead. You did it? Awesome. Now back to the video. In Serum, make the zoo pluck. If you watched my sound design basics video, then you've probably already figured out that it's just in it patch. Ah, before you start getting all smug, being all like, I already knew that. Remember, we're all learning at different levels here. So just cause you know a little bit more than another producer doesn't mean you have to be a dick about it. Wow. So to this init patch, we're gonna change the envelope to a pluck and then assign it to our low pass filter. Making sure it's set to on here. Combo that with OTT and saturator. And you're going to the zoo. Done that joke already. But there's lots of little things you can do to elevate this as well. These are optional, but they work for me, so I'll show you. That includes adding a second oscillator as a triangle for a very subtle harmonic, a little bit of hyper dimension for wideness, distortion on soft clip mode, though with only a little bit of drive. Attach the same envelope to the mix because it's a subtle effect to add a little bit of high end. Add a second layer that's literally just a sine wave. A marimba. But not in the tropical house kind of way. Ew. And another beatboxer. Make chaos saws, of course. <laughs> nope. Never mind. What about Skrillex? Send the title, but all you've been talking about is Zoo. This is clickbait! Ah! Ugh, I thought I was done with you. Now, if you want to turn this into Skrillex mode, his style of house is very similar to this, but since I mentioned him in the title, let me show you a little bit of uh, how he does house stuff. Speed up the melody a bit. It's a faster melody with arps. Same sign. And the beatboxer. And the marimba. But also add a glock. Oh, no, not that kind. Add a few extra kicks. 
And if you got this far and you're still like, this only sounds kind of like Zoo. Well, that's the point. See, at the end of the day, I'm not Zoo. I'm not Skrillex. And neither are you. But don't let that bring you down, because each time you make a song, even if you are slightly, not so slightly, ripping off your favorite artist like Zoo or Skrillex, you'll always be subconsciously adding your own flavor to the song. And I call this the you factor. And it's one of the many ways you'll eventually find your sound. This means don't get sad if your productions right now sound like the dollar store version of your favorite artist. Because as you get better, the you factor gets stronger and stronger. And from there, your listeners will stop saying, oh my gosh, this sounds just like dollar store Skrillex and say, oh my gosh, this sounds like you. So get better and support my channel by liking this video and subscribing so you don't miss the next one. If you have the means to support me even further, join my Patreon. Even just the $2 tier helps me way more than you realize. You'll also find project files for every song you've heard on this channel, along with presets for Serum, Vital, Ableton Racks, and in-depth breakdowns. And of course, if there's any artists you want me to cover, comment them below. But hey, <laughs> enough of that. Altogether, the drop sounds like this. Oh,